action adventure is always a big genre, but in 2015 it was huge, and GameRanks wants to talk to you about 10 new action adventure games in 2015. Number 10, Dying Light. This open world first person survival horror game put in some of the cooler elements of parkour into a zombie horror survival game. The game also has a running clock, during the day you need to find supplies and during the night you need to not be out. I mean, you can be out if you want, but it's better if you're not. There's a lot of cool stuff. The game also features a pretty sweet multiplayer mode, and really, it's just a ton of fun. It was a big surprise hit this year, and GameRanks is happy to recommend it. Number 9, LEGO Dimensions. If you've seen Skylanders or Disney Infinity, you know basically what LEGO Dimensions is. Basically, when NFC Gaming arrived, and it wasn't just the people that came up with Spyro, when Nintendo and Disney both got in the mix, it was really only a matter of time before LEGO did. I mean, honestly, can you think of something that exists already that is better suited for this kind of game? I can't. And frankly, the game itself is a lot of fun. Number 8, Mad Max is an open world game reminiscent a little bit of Red Faction Guerrilla if you ever played that. It is perhaps one of the prettiest games ever to feature exclusively a desert environment of all time. It has a fairly basic plot, but the game itself plays so well it's very forgivable. And just to put things in perspective, really the game is fun. That's kind of the important thing, is it not, when playing video games? I always thought so. It does a very good job of capturing the feel of Mad Max and giving it to you in an open world game. It was kind of passed over a little bit by reviews, but I've played it quite a bit personally, and I have to say I enjoy it. Number 7, Axiom Verge. This game, well let's just put it this way, if you've been aching for some Metroid, specifically some Super Metroid, but you didn't want to play the game again because you've played it 400 times and basically have it memorized, but haven't played Axiom Verge? What are you doing? This is perhaps the best Metroidvania game to come out since Metroid and Castlevania. I mean, seriously, what a fantastic game. The controls are tight, the level design is amazing, and truthfully, you're not going to beat this as far as anything that even vaguely resembles Metroid. No joke, if Nintendo ever gets back to making 2D Metroid games, this is the one to beat. Number 6, Bloodborne. Now what can be said about Bloodborne that hasn't already? You know exactly what this game is. It's essentially a faster paced Dark Souls. It's also a very gory game, a very hard game, and a game that probably single-handedly asks more of the player than anything similar to it by any other developer. Ah, you thought I was gonna say no. Dark Souls is, is very similar as far as what it asks of you. But in all seriousness, you're not gonna find something that plays better than this. It's grim, but it's gorgeous, and it plays as good as it looks. So if you haven't given Bloodborne a try, now's probably the time. Go ahead. I'll wait. Number 5, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. The latest entry, and probably one of the better entries in the Assassin's Creed franchise. This game takes a series in kind of a new direction, which is very neat, because it's a series that kind of really needs it. You have multiple protagonists that are both very much worth playing, and a huge open world Victorian England to play around in. There's something a little bit dishonored about it, at the same time, it's very much Assassin's Creed. If you like the series, or just like stealth open world games with fairly interesting stories, Syndicate is a must play. Number 4, though it was embroiled in controversy, Batman Arkham Knight is probably the best Batman Arkham series game, period. The story was a bit of a fake out, I won't spoil what it is, but it's actually a retelling of one of the most popular Batman stories of all time, and I'll say this, they did it really well. That being said, once you've figured it out, you've figured it out and that's that. Still, if you ask me, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey. And Arkham Knight absolutely provides you the kind of journey that you are going to want if you're interested in highly refined incredibly fun video games. Number 3, if you don't see Just Cause 3 is one of the most highly anticipated games of the year, period, then let me see if I can get you interested from the action-adventure perspective. You're given a near unlimited amount of options as to what you want to do in this game. Yes, there's a story, but I'm sure as with Just Cause 2, it's not that important. Just Cause has always been about the carnage and seeing how far you can take it. Just Cause 3 looks like it is going to be the absolute definitive wild carnage game of this generation, at least so far. I'm incredibly excited for it. 
Number 2, Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now if you didn't play the Tomb Raider reboot, I would highly recommend it. What Uncharted did with what Tomb Raider brought to the table, the Tomb Raider reboot does with Uncharted. Essentially this is an extremely refined, beautiful, incredibly fun, third person action adventure game. If you like Uncharted, if you like the original Tomb Raider, and you're excited for where the Tomb Raider reboot goes, which frankly took the series in every direction it needed to, and gave you an incredibly fun game. I'm excited for this. I'm a huge Tomb Raider fan, and frankly the reboot only served to whet my appetite. Bring more Tomb Raider. And finally, the number one action adventure game of the year happens to be probably the number one game of the year as well. Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain is frankly a masterpiece. There's been some controversy involving choices that Konami forced on Hideo Kojima during the development of this game, but frankly, as far as gameplay, and Game World, this is by far the best Metal Gear game ever made and one of the best games ever made. This game is a frigging triumph and you owe it to yourself to play it. It's amazing and I can't stress that any more or any less. It is amazing. Did you get to play any of these games? Personally, I can't get enough of anything on this top 10 list and I can't wait to play the ones that aren't out yet, but leave us a comment with your favorite. Also, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to this channel because we upload new videos daily and the best way to see them first is a subscription. Thank you so much for watching this video as always and we will see you next time here on Game Ranks.